if that's going to be slow. That doesn't look like that's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and do a screencast o Nope, it's working now. Okay. All right. So when you have a picture that has、um, more than just a little bit going on, that can be challenging. Okay, there's one like this in your homework where you have a picture and it shows that I messed myself up. There we go. That these two are parallel. And then it gives you all these different angles. What I wanted to do was give you a helpful hint about a strategy you can use to make that easier. One sec. We have learned all about these angle pairs with respect to just a single transversal and two intersections that transversal goes through. There are two transversals here. This line right here crosses both lines, parallel lines. This line over here crosses both of the parallel lines. I would suggest only looking at one of them at a time. So, in other words, take something and cover up all but two of the intersections. And that'll make it easier to just focus on the relationships between these two intersections. Okay, so for instance, angle six corresponds to what angle? 14. So we know those two will be congruent. Okay, or angle one corresponds to what angle? Nine. And then we know that 13. Corresponds to these two together. Okay, so just trying to look at two intersections at one time can be helpful. And I would do the same thing over here. And then I can see that, for instance,、um, three corresponds to eight, or that four and eight are alternate interior, or four corresponds to 11. Okay, so for this picture, we're going to do this information. Let's try this. If the measure of angle 7 is 72 degrees and 11 is 86, we're going to find each measure. Okay, so let's go ahead and label our picture. Measure of angle 7 is 72 degrees, and the measure of angle 11 is 86 degrees. And、that's wrong. I'm sorry. I must be looking at the wrong one. We're doing this right now. Okay. I was looking at the wrong one, folks. I'm sorry. Take that info back. There we go. Seven is 118 and five is 47 degrees. Okay. So seven is 118. And angle five is 47 degrees. And we're supposed to find all the rest of the angle measures. So I need to give you guys time to do that. And if you are watching this video later, you're going to want to probably fast forward a little bit. Or you can be doing it on your own.
let me interject here just because this is very um, relevant to something else we're going to look at later this week. What angle is an alternate interior angle with angle four? It is eight. Okay. Very often alternate interiors make like a Z. Okay. Or like a backwards Z. So what angle is an alternate interior angle with angle six? Nine. nine, yes. Okay, there's six and nine. So I just wanted to point that out because that goes with something special we're looking at later this week. I wanted to point it out before we got a bunch of angle measures all over this. If you're not sure where to start, the place, easiest place to start is probably just by finding all of these angles right here. I'm going to go ahead and fill in these vertical angles and linear pairs. This is 118 also, and this is 62, and this is 62. We just said 4 and 8 were alternate interior, so that makes this 62. You could have also gotten that by the fact that these are same side interior, so they have to be supplementary. And at this point, you have enough information to find all of these. So let me pause and let you do that for a little bit. Okay, so at this point, I would go ahead and label my vertical angles first. Because three and four are vertical angles and two and five are vertical angles. And then I could say, well, everything on one side of the line is 180. So one, two, and four have to add up to 180. Or one, two, and three have to add up to 180. Or two, three, and six. And either way, I get to find one and six. What would those be? 71 is correct. Okay, now we just said a second ago that 6 and 9 are alternate interior angles, so that gets us down here. Uh -huh. So once we're down here, everything else falls into place because it's linear pairs or vertical angles. Okay. Now, I might get caught by the bell, but there's another one in your homework that is similar to this picture. So I wanted to show you the same idea on this picture. Is I would pick two intersections and only look at two intersections at the same time. Now, keep in mind on this picture, these two are not parallel. So I'm not thinking of this being a transversal of these two because that doesn't help me. It is, but it's not parallel lines. So I'm thinking about this is a par this is a transversal. And this is a transversal. So I might look at 1 through 12, or 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. Or alternately, just look at those two. Okay, so I'm going to keep working. Our live people are going. If you're in online with me, you can stay with me or you can go. I'm going to record, I'm recording this so I can show it to you later. And let's see. Here's our information we're going to do this picture with. Don't forget to do your homework says if the measure of angle 7 is 72 degrees and the measure of angle 11 is 86 degrees, find each measure. So angle 7 is 72. 
and angle 11 is 86. I still got a bunch of people in my online room, so I'll just wait for you guys to do some work. Easiest thing to do is probably be start with getting to know all of these and come up here and start and figure out all of these as well. Okay, so six is 72 degrees. And then with linear pairs, I can find out eight or five by subtracting that from 180 and I get 108. And then again, this is a transversal that's crossing two parallel lines. So I'm going to focus only on the relationships between these two intersections. And I'm just going to do corresponding angles, I think. Five corresponds to 13. And then I can find all of these by knowing just angle 13. So this is 72, this is 108, and this is 72. Now we've got another situation up here with a transversal across two parallel lines. There's really no relationship between these two intersections up here and these two intersections down here at all. Okay, so this is 86 degrees. Subtracting from 180, I get 94. And then I can move corresponding angles or I can use, I can use alternate interiors, four and nine use anything to get from one intersection to the next, and then find everything over here. Okay, so hopefully that'll help with the two questions I was getting some questions on from your homework. So, hope that did.